Okay, so this is gonna be a quick video. So today, I'm gonna plaster this wall. I've never done plastering before. I've never even observed anyone plaster. I've just watched a YouTube video yesterday. I would get my plasterer, his name's Kieran, cool guy, to do this, but he's way too busy at the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna try and do it myself. Now, it is behind a base unit, so it doesn't look need to look 100%, but I'm gonna try it out and see how it goes anyway. In no way, shape or form, I was saying that plastering it is easy, because it's not, I don't know, it's not. I thought I'd just try it out today, because my plasterer is busy. So, yeah. So first off, as you can see, I'm just prepping the area, sweeping down any dust and debris and knocking over any loose bits and nails, making sure that the area is completely dust free and debris free. We're using hard wall plaster on the brickwork and I might do a top coat of the thistle finishing plaster but it's behind the base unit so um, I'm not too bothered about that and the customer's not too bothered about that so yeah here I'm still prepping the area I'm just adding some PVA and water to a mix and I'm just gonna PVA the wall here I'm just PVA in the wall my thought process is just get a lot of PVA on making sure that the whole area is covered top and bottom. I then left the PVA to dry for about 30 minutes and then I started mixing up some plaster. For the base coat I'm using some hard wall plaster, the thistle hard wall plaster. I add my plaster, add my water and then start mixing up. The video that I watched previously says it needs to be like a yogurt type of texture so that's the type of texture I'm going for. It did take me a few attempts to get the complete right texture but I just added a bit of plaster, added a bit of water, mixed it up and then repeated this process until I got the right texture because it is my first time. This is what happens when you add too much pasta. It just looks like dirt, basically. And this is what happens if you use too much water. It's just too sludgy. So it is very important to get the right texture that I found. Okay, now here's the moment of truth. Now to every plasterer watching, just, oh, I'm sorry. Now I'm gonna be quiet for the majority of the video now and I'm just gonna let my troweling do the talk. Bear in mind, this is my first ever go at plastering.
once I put the base coat on, I did have to leave. So I packed up, cleaned down all my tools and then just came back the next day to finish off. I would have liked to finish it all in one day, it would have made it a bit easier but some things you just can't control. And this is what it looked like when I came back. Now, I wasn't expecting it to look like this but it was just the first coat so I just got everything ready, prepared and then done the same process, put another coat on. Because I was working on this from the day before, I wet the area and also applied a light PVA to the area and then after that I then applied the rest of the plaster. So I had to add a little bit more plaster in different places and use the straight edge as a guide to make it look even. It was also a little bit harder because I was working off the plaster that had already dried so it was a little bit harder but we got it done and this is kind of how it looked after. Now here I haven't applied the finishing plaster yet. I've just applied the hard wall plaster. There is still a bit of imperfections but it's going to be tiled, the base unit's going to be in front of it and yeah, it's. I would say it's okay for my first go, my first attempt. I then left it to dry and then added the finishing plaster, the Thistle finishing plaster. And this is what it looked like after I had completely done. Now, I know it's not 100%, I'm not a plasterer, tried my best, <laughs> but yeah, um, the base unit's going to be in the way, it's going to be tiled and I know it's going to look great after. And this is what it looked like before, and this is what it looked like after. So the back was painted, the backboard is in and it's all tiled so you can't even see any imperfections and I will be doing a whole video on how me and the apprentice done this little renovation and the process we took but that's for another video. I hope you like it and goodbye.